We're setting out kites. We're here sail fishing in Singer Island, Florida. We call this the Ploy and Destroy. Rhonda's Osprey with Captain Joe Drosy and mates Jamie and Luke and we're they're setting the baits out we got two kites going on up we're fishing live bait with goggle eyes we're here for sailfish R Singer Island which is right by West Palm Beach is called Sailfish Alley we're gonna see if that's true All right, go get we're just scanning our baits right now trying to keep your corks up your baits on the surface looking for any signs of life whether it be a cork going down or actually see the sailfish eat your bait uh, sometimes you see them go around your bait for a little while and uh, just key is to try to keep your eyes peeled and uh, looking for that looking for that bite. So you can beat anytime you can beat the fish to your bait, your chances are improved. Little mahi starting out this morning. Yay. All right, a nice little one. Little dolphin, nice and pretty. When they come out of the water, you'll see the, the colors are on here. Yeah. We got an appetizer. Broke the ice, man. Yeah. Way to go. Got a okay. There he is. There he is. Woo! Beautiful fish. Oh, there's a flying fish. We are going. We have sailfish. Beautiful, beautiful fish here. Take him to the line. Yeah. Fish is running. We're going to let him take the line he wants. And there's some slack in the line. We're going to reel as fast as we can. Pull up just a little bit. Wind down as fast as we can. Coaxing them on up to the surface. There it goes. Woo! Feet her up. Needs a catch. There it goes. Take a little more line, which means we have to catch it again. All right, here we go. Lead her up again. All right. The sailfish are actually one of the fastest swimmers in the ocean and they have actually been clocked at up to speeds of 68 miles per hour. Great fish, beautiful, beautiful fish. I think I personally think sailfish is one of the, the most gorgeous fish in the ocean. They light up so nice with color and I uh, love the acrobatics. Okay, so now we caught the fish, we have to take the belt off. Otherwise, we consider that to be uh, superstitious bad luck. Belt. Oh no, we gotta catch another fish. Sail! Woohoo! Got it. Take a line, lots of line, lots of line. Woo! There he is. Got to catch him over the wave. All right, a little bit of line slack. Got to reel as fast as you possibly can. Yeah, we're cranking. Woo! This is so much fun. There he goes. Okay, 
lady, we got a double tail fetch. Get this one in, move on to the next one. This is so much fun. These fish are just absolutely beautiful. hollering down he's seeing some splash baits are kind of acting up belt on ready to roll yeah great sail there we go Line, let him go, let him go. Woo! This one's going to the Bahamas. Woo! Here he comes, he's coming up. We don't care. We 
just love it. And hey, this is a fishing show. There's no hair and makeup going on. That was a great triple play. Three sales on simultaneously, only here in Singer Island, Florida, on Rhonda's Osprey with Captain Joe Drosky. But he is the one to blame for me getting all wet, backed it down hard, what didn't want to lose the fish. Swell came over, wet. It's a good thing we're in Florida and the water's warm. watching flying fish. Woo! It is amazing to see these little fish just skidding across the top of the water. We see the birds, it's actually frigate birds, diving in and underneath all of this are mahi. So the frigate birds are trying to catch the flying fish as it comes out of the water. It is so much fun and so exciting to watch. Nice fish. Number three, going in the box. Beautiful fish. All right, we gotta go. Uh, those are frigate birds, they, uh, or man of war, or T-Reddits. They have incredible eyesight. They'll see fish from way up, way up in the sky. As the fish are chasing smaller fish, whether they're flying fish or sardines, they swoop down, and without getting wet, they swoop down and pick them up out of the water. So they actually can't get wet, they never will get wet. If you catch one by accident, and it gets in the water, you have to bring it into the boat, and dry them off, and then they can fly again. But they have incredible eyesight and uh, they're really a pretty cool, pretty cool bird to watch. Hey captains, want your own episode on bait and reel adventures? Our female anglers will showcase your boat and crew in an action-packed show. Woohoo! Let bait and reel adventures highlight the fun a day of fishing brings. 
Our 30-minute show airs twice a day, seven days a week on Comcast. Plus, YouTube and Facebook exposure and a link for your website. Contact us today and get scheduled for your bait and reel adventure. Taking more line. Keep coming up, George. This is fabulous. And it's easy to reel. It's not hard. Anybody can do this. You just have to keep your line tight. You don't want them to fit the hook. And reel. And when you feel any little slack, you just reel harder and faster. And you don't have to muscle them in. It's like guys are always yanking and pulling the rod up real hard. With doing this, you don't. So ladies, anybody can come on out and they can catch a sail. It's an absolutely gorgeous fish. Beautiful, like electric blue with bands of yellow on them. And they actually do that to sort of make themselves look bigger or threaten to other species in the ocean. Gives you a good fight, good little workout. Here it comes. And when they raise their sail, which is about half the length of their body, it just makes them look so magnificent. I am thankful I'm here. We're fishing these kites. We're sail fishing in Palm Beach is all about presentation. What we do is we send these kites out and we hang bait from them. And it imitates a flying fish with their natural fleeting on. All your gear up out of the water, your leader, your swivel, so the fish, when the fish comes up to eat it, all he sees is that bait. Corks here on the line are just so you can see where your bait's at. They're called your visual indicator. Flip them in like that, that's a pressure flip. Use a fresh goggle eye today. Using a rigging needle, pushing the needle through the bait. And we're using a rubber band. We pull the rubber band through the bait and back onto the hook. So when the fish goes to eat it, there's nothing but hook exposed.
got mahi on, we got sailfish on. It is great. There. Yes, we did. We have five dolphin in the box, eight sailfish. It is an outstanding day here with Captain Joe Drosy on Rhonda's Osprey. Bait and real adventures. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> here comes a loggerhead. Loggerhead turtles are the most common sea turtle in Florida. Absolutely beautiful marine creature. Loggerheads can actually go up to about 350 pounds and three feet in length. They are an absolutely gorgeous marine animal. They have a really large head, which is how they got their name. When he dove down, we actually found that he had a remora attached to him. Remora are actually like it's a predator host relationship, and sometimes they look like they're actually swimming upside down. They're not, it's just the position of the suckers on their body. The loggerheads are endangered species. They are truly a prehistoric animal. Their uh, shell is reddish brown. When they dive down, they're usually down for about 30 minutes, but they can actually stay submerged for up to four hours. Well, watch your right shore sail, I think. Okay. One on the right. I thought I saw something there. All right, we got a kingfish on the line. Normally you fish with metal leaders, so trying to keep it real tight so it doesn't have an opportunity to bite through this monofilament. Their bodies change constantly, and it's actually a relationship to their nervous system. New definition of the word he's coming up. Right on the surface, night nice side. Yeah. 
starting to crank on it to crank some slack out. <laughs> there he was. Oh. Thank you. 